Bringing in the new year is meant to be a joyous occasion, a time where we can wipe the slate clean and start anew. However, for one family from Indiana, their lives as they knew it would never be the same again. 18-year-old Marina Pearl Bolter was described by her loved ones as a smart, wonderful and hard-working young woman with a heart of gold. She had recently completed her high school GED and was mother to a young son, Landon, but unfortunately, for reasons unknown, after caring for him for only a few months, she lost custody of him in 2014 and he was sent to live in foster care. This broke Marina's heart and it was then that she decided that she was going to turn her life around get a job, rent an apartment and prove that she was capable to care for her son. On the 31st of December 2014, 18-year-old Marina spent most of the afternoon working at a local grocery store called IGA, located in Bloomfield, Indiana. Marina finished her shift at approximately 6pm that night and was last seen in a nearby gas station parking lot where she was seen by her ex-boyfriend and the father of her son, Douglas DJ Lockhart, getting into a vehicle. DJ was allegedly waiting in the parking lot to be picked up by some friends. Other sources state that DJ had actually phoned Marina as she left work that day, for reasons unclear. The vehicle Marina was seen getting into was either a gold, silver or beige 2009-2011 to Mercury Milan, equipped with multi-spoke rims, a spoiler and a shark fin antenna on the top. According to various witnesses, the driver of this vehicle was a Caucasian, middle-aged man who wore glasses. Witnesses claimed to have seen Marina get into the vehicle of this unknown man before he drove off in the direction of Marina's apartment. One of Marina's companions told authorities that the 18-year-old told him that she would attend his New Year's party at his apartment later that evening, but Marina didn't actually want this individual to know where she lived, so she asked him to drop her off at a closed-down pizza restaurant not too far from her apartment. He dropped her off, as confirmed by cell phone records, but this was allegedly the last time that anyone came into contact with Marina Bolter. After failing to show up for work the following day, and missing visitation with her young son, who was in foster care at this time, authorities were alerted of her disappearance. For Marina not to attend work and to miss visiting her young son was completely out of character and caused her family a lot of concern. Police tried to find any clues as to what happened to Marina following her disappearance, but unfortunately the parking lot nor any places nearby had CCTV cameras which could have helped in tracing her final known movements. Police did manage to trace the older male who had given Marina a lift, but unfortunately police ruled him out of having anything to do with her disappearance. This particular individual actually had prior convictions of sexual assault and attempted abduction. Also of note, a man who actually lived in the same apartment building as Marina had been convicted of torturing and murdering a young girl. Despite thorough investigations over the years and looking into various suspects, including a married man whom Bolter was allegedly having an affair with, Indiana police have never officially named any suspects in this case. The trail simply went cold. 
To some, it seemed convenient that Marina's ex-boyfriend saw her in the parking lot that night and the man who gave her a lift. But to add insult to injury, 22-year-old DJ Lockhart was actually stabbed to death just six weeks after Marina vanished. He was reportedly the last person to see her alive. Many questions arose as to whether the stabbing and Marina's disappearance were connected in some way. However, authorities haven't ever found any evidence to support this theory. Not much is actually known about Marina as a person, but around the time she disappeared, she had apparently been going through a bit of a rough patch. This information has never been elaborated on. Marina had recently moved into the Bloomfield area prior to her disappearance. She lived alone and worked hard at her job at the grocery store in an effort to provide for herself and her young son. She was taking the reins in her life in order to give herself and her son a better life, which makes it all the more bizarre that she would disappear, especially of her own free will. Her mother, Tressy Palmer, continued to try and get the word out about her daughter's disappearance since the day she vanished, even holding a 15-mile walk to raise money to place a billboard up to remind people of Missing Marina, though unfortunately very few people actually donated. The billboard remained in place for a year, though it's unclear whether it's still standing today. In 2017, Tressy spoke to the American Crimecast podcast about her daughter's disappearance, hoping to raise awareness and get more people talking about the case. Unfortunately, Tressy passed away in March of 2021 without ever knowing what happened to her beloved daughter. Marina's family continue to endlessly campaign to get her home by appealing for information across various social media platforms on a regular basis, mainly on their Find Marina Bolter Facebook page, which is run by Marina's sister, Ashley. All they want is answers and for Marina to be found so that they can get some sort of closure. The Bolter family want Marina's son to grow up knowing how loved and cared for she was. The lack of leads and lack of contact from the Indiana State Police in regards to any updates in the investigation has caused the family continued frustration. They want more to be done to bring Marina home. At the time of her disappearance, Marina Pearl Bolter was 18 years old, standing at approximately 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing around 120 pounds. She is of Caucasian descent and has blonde to strawberry blonde hair and blue eyes. Both of Marina's ears are pierced and she also has a tattoo of a star with butterfly wings on her foot. She also carries a small scar on her lip from a previous piercing. Also of note, Marina may wear non-prescription glasses and may have dyed her hair reddish-brown at the time of her disappearance. The teen also smoked Marlboro cigarettes and carried a Samsung Galaxy cell phone on the day of her disappearance. Marina was last seen wearing a black and purple plaid peacoat, a pair of jeans with rhinestones on the back pockets, a pair of white and pink Nike shocks shoes with a purple Nike logo on the back, and a crucifix necklace, which she wore on a regular basis. She was also carrying a purse which had the word love written on the side. As of August 2022, Marina Bolter remains a missing person and her case remains unsolved, despite the efforts made by the Bloomfield and Indiana authorities and the FBI. If Marina is still out there today, she would be 26 years old. Those with any information regarding this case are urged to contact the Indiana State Police in Bloomfield on 
four four one one. Thank you.